are about to witness a spirit-filled, deep and forensic prophetic ministration with the very highly esteemed oracle of God, Dr. Elijah Coffey King. A spirit-filled encounter that will leave you motivated and captivated. Indeed, there is a God in heaven who reveals mysteries as written in Matthew 11.25. The man anointed with giant solutions for giant problems. The Lord said, I should tell you, Mama, the Lord said, I should tell you that he created you for wealth. The way you are looking at me. Uh, he created you for wealth. But the enemy has released an arrow. And the arrow the enemy has released is a sickness arrow. The Lord said, if prayer is not offered, there is a sickness that has hit you or is about to hit you that will make your life miserable. I don't know you before. I have not spoken. Have you spoken to me before? This is your first time in this church. The Lord said he has created wealth and prosperity for you. You are the type that never goes dry. When things become dry, one way or the other, God opens another door. When things become dry, one way or the other, God opens another door. You were born to prosper. You were born for wealth creation. There is an angel of the Lord. There is an angel of the Lord that has been walking with you from your childhood. He is not a guardian angel. This angel is not a guardian angel like everybody is born with a guardian angel. This angel is an archangel. And this angel has a mandate of revealing things to you and speaking things to you. There are things you speak of and people wonder, how did she know? There are things you see in your dream. You come out to say, I, I had a dream. I saw so, so, and so. By the time you realize it comes to pass exactly. And people wonder, is he a pastor? Is he a prophetess? There is an angel that is working with you. If you be sensitive to the Holy Spirit, your prophetic senses will be sharper. It will be sharper. It will be sharper. It will be sharper. But there is a sickness. That is the main reason why God said I should pray for you. There is a sickness which is about to hit you. The way I'm seeing it, you become helpless. You become miserable. You become weak. Because I'm seeing you lying on a bed. Your eyes are able to see. But you have no life in you. You have it's a demonic arrow. It, it is either it has hit you already or it is now coming about to hit you. Pastor, Pastor, I'm depressed actually. It's that arrow you're talking about. I'm depressed. And I don't have friends around from the US. So what I've decided to do is to look up myself. It's work home. I don't go to church. Uh, you don't go to church. To church for the past what? 16 years. I've been a born again Christian for a long time. I was at North Mid Assembly and I used to sing in the church. Wow. Ah, Mama, don't worry about the depression. The depression is just care of. But the fact that you have, you have not been in church for many, many years, I concur with you that there is something wrong. There's something wrong. How many years now since you've been to church? Having a local church for about 16 years when I had my son. 16 but years? Yes, but I usually like... On and off. When I see a church, I would go there. On and off. So even here, to be on and off, you won't come back again. I'm not sure. It's not that, but I was late to this church. You were led by, by the Holy Spirit yes. to this church. Just to if you are clapping, clap better for Jesus. Clap better for Jesus. Ha! Ah! A church... I don't have a signpost by any of these major junction. And every Sunday when we ask people, they say the Holy Spirit directed me to come. It should tell you, it should tell you that God is here. This is the house Amen. of God. Amen. Indeed. I see a lot of new faces today. A lot of new faces. If you ask all of them, they will tell you the Holy Spirit touched them, directed them. You are going to give your number. To my wife and as for you my wife must give me permission that i get your number as well okay if you ask my church members they will tell you me i don't call church members once uh, the last time i called you maybe 20 years ago i don't call my church members but the fact that it's been very long you have been in church you need encouragement you see the prophecy of 
Mama. It is connected to you as well. So I'm not surprised from her prophecy I come straight to you. Because the same spirit that is wanting her to leave church. It is the same spirit that has caused you to also leave church. 16 years ago not made assemblies. Not made assemblies. Mama come and stand. Should we close? Continue next week. Or I should help people with my gift. Okay. Whatever it is that offended you, that put you off, that made you stay away from church, that any church you go, you don't find peace, and you rather prefer to stay at home. May the Lord Amen. May the Lord take away your depression. Yes. May the Lord take away your depression. Yes. Ah. Ah. Depression. Yes. It's a spirit. It's an evil spirit. Yes. I curse you out of her life. Jesus. I curse you out of her life. Jesus. And the spirit of disappointment that has also been following you. That has also been following you and has been fighting you. You said what? Correct. Correct. Spirit of disappointment. How many children do you have? I only have one. Even that one, the father is not in your life. It's not in your life. It's not in your life. It's a spirit of disappointment. It's a spirit of disappointment. As I'm speaking to you now, there is an evil wind like a cap, like a heart. It has covered my head to the back of my head. And it is giving me headache. And a lot of this headache is not an ordinary headache. And it is something she experiences herself. He said, it's the spirit of death. It comes up and it sits here. And you are the type that, you are the type that, how do I put it? You easily get fed up with people. You easily get fed up with, even if it is a man, you look at the man, this one, what, what can he offer me? What can he offer me? You are, you are that type. It's an evil spirit that sits here and it clouds your mind. To the point that even destiny helpers who are sent in your life to come and help you, when they have a need for you to help them, it puts you off. Just the mere fact that they have a need put you off. Where I am now, I am looking for people who can help me. Why should I be the one? It puts you off. It's an evil spirit. It's an evil spirit. The Bible said Jesus came for the lost souls. I have seen armed robbers. That are now firebrand preachers. Firebrand prophets. I have seen witch doctors. That are powerful evangelists and apostles. Winning souls for God. So your case is before God. Small before the Almighty God. May God possess you. Yes. May God take your heart. Yes. May God change the foundation of your destiny. Yes. Whatever went wrong when you were a baby, when you were growing up, whatever went wrong when you were even in church and when you left church, may God himself touch you. May he touch the very core of your soul and bring you back to his bosom and align you back onto himself. Stand on that cockroach. Stand on that cockroach. Stand on it. Don't run. Stand on it. If you let it go, you have let your enemies go. If you let it go, you have let your... Remove that shoe. See if the cockroach is dead. That shoe, you stepped on the cockroach. Take it up. Hit it on the ground. If you kill your enemy, kill it again. And kill them again. Uh -huh. It's a spirit. It's not a cockroach. It's a demon. It's a demon. Say power. Shout power. Mama, speak. I just want to confirm something. Uh-huh work hard and from nowhere I used to help a lot of family members and family people around me 
I used to buy cars. Now I've packed off, packed my car, sold one car. People have run away from me. People have run away from me. I don't have money anymore. I've got a job, yes, but I don't have money I used to have. I just don't know what's happening to me. Remember, I started your prophecy by telling you you were created for wealth. You were created for Come back again. Because you clap your hands, whatever you have lost in this life, may it come back to you again. Hey, may it come back to you again. Hey, may it come back to you again. May it come back to you again. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Holy Ghost. Fire nation. Fire. 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 Fire nation. Fire. Mama, this cockroach, that our church, there is no cockroach in our church. We have not seen cockroach in our church whilst people are still seated in the church. This cockroach that manifested yes. is an evil spirit that has been fighting your finances, yes. fighting your health. The Lord said, even if not for his mercy, you are one person that would have lost your sanity. That's what the Lord is saying. If not for his mercy, you would have lost your sanity. Thank God you came today. Thank God you came today. Thank God you came today. Buy perfume. You know perfume? Buy perfume. I'm going to buy perfume. And give you back. And give you some directions. The perfume. In fact, the perfume when you bring it, I'll pray over it in your presence there and there and give it back to you. So somebody will say, she has broken too straightly. I believe the man of God put some charms. You know the way Zambians, sometimes they think. Not all of them all. Some of them. Their mind is so corrupt. Because they are not used to men of God who carry grace. So when they see one, they don't understand. They come to negative conclusion. So I'll pray over it in your presence and you see the hand of God. Money will come. Amen. You are already preserved. Me locating you is enough. Amen. That is the covenant I have with God. Amen. And if God should take anything away from you, if I ever offend God and God is upset, He should not take this grace far from me. The grace that moves me to stand with people. The moment God gives me a message, and I speak in your life, you can never be defeated. Amen. The track record is there. So, if you are wrong, and the person of you being sick, lifeless, helpless, it can never manifest. Even if you don't return back to this church, it can never. And that is how you know a man is with God and God is with a man. Amen. You can never be sick. So if that personal relationship between you and your pastor calling and texting and seeing your pastor at any time you want is not there but at the end of the day the most valuable things which is God is there then be at peace okay then be at peace I want you to sit in this church every Sunday the moment you have mentioned to say you used to have money and you have a lot of cars you have packed and used to help a lot of people. When you start becoming a church member here, there are people here who want to be your friends because their papa has taught them to, to have friends who are billionaires and millionaires and they will want to be your friend. But even that, you be careful. Don't open up to people anyhow because you are still a work in progress Amen. before the hand of the Almighty. He's still working on you to trust him, to trust the church. To trust your pastor, to trust your church members, and you don't need a lot of friends around you, especially those who want something from you. So all I'm asking is that if it should be that you have peace, you're picking up your pieces in this church, right? Don't look at this other stuff. Your focus is God. Feel me to grow spiritually again, and with that, you can never go wrong. But even if you don't come back to this church. Sickness that will kill you, it can't kill you anymore. 
it can't kill you anymore because when i pray for you, the way i'm praying for you like the way i'm standing with you grace is surrounding you grace that money cannot buy grace that no witch doctor can give you jesus mighty name make money and grow spiritually in jesus name